Farmers, and welcome to this week's installment of the official Farmville Podcast. My name is Grimwell, and I'm filling in for Lex Delicious during this week's podcast. And over the next few minutes, I'll be bringing you the latest news and information about Farmville from Zynga. Farmville continues to celebrate Halloween in a big way this year, and we're glad players are enjoying their haunted houses and candy collections. Be sure to redeem your candy for exclusive items through the Halloween basket, like the Candy Gnome, Bat Tree, and Pumpkin House. The most farmers seem satisfied treating each other. We knew it would be trick-or-treating without the tricks. You can now trick your neighbors on their farms by covering their barns, fences, and trees with cobwebs, or turn their animals into ghosts. Tricking can be done five times in each of your neighbor's farms, and these tricks can be accepted or declined by your neighbors, like most visitor actions. You can also purchase a spooky effect for two farm cash that lets you play tricks on your own farm for decorating purposes. We've prepared a spooky assortment of items to choose from this year's Halloween limited edition theme. Some old favorites from last year's event have crept their way back into the marketplace, like the Cattle Lantern and the infamous Plant Monster. We've even taken your feedback on some of these past favorites into consideration for new additions, like the Palm Monster, Haunted Tower, the Nefarious Count Ducula, and the Ghost Gnome. And we've even brought back last year's Haunted House by popular request. Also, be sure to check the free gifts tab for even more Halloween goodies you can pass on to your neighbors. While keeping Halloween on the farm filled with tricks and treats, we've also greatly improved the character customization system. You can now create a whole new look for your farmer by customizing their pants, shoes, shirts, whole outfit, and other accessories like glasses and hats. You also have the option of dressing your character up in a costume for Halloween. Click on the costume list to choose from over 30 different costumes like the astronaut, sheep, ghost, ninja, vampire, and my favorite, the ugly duckling. For our avid collectors, a ribbon is also available for clothing purchases. Be sure to purchase your Halloween costume soon as it will no longer be available for purchase after the holiday theme expires. And to answer a question on many of your minds, yes, those of you who purchased a costume during Halloween event will be able to keep it and wear it after Halloween. You just won't be able to buy them again until next year. If you're a U.S. player and you haven't used the giant blip in your gift box yet, you're missing out on weather protection for your crops. The in-game Farmers Insurance Airship is part of Farmville's U.S. exclusive program with Farmers Insurance. For as long as the airship is placed on your farm, Farmers Insurance will protect any crop you plant from withering. But don't wait to place it on your farm as the promotion will expire on October 28th. In mobile news, Farmville is now available as a native application on the iPad. This version makes use of the iPad's large display to show more of the farm and an improved mobile user interface. Best of all, the iPad version of Farmville is free through the Apple App Store. And for those of you who do play Farmville on your Apple device, be sure to look for new exclusive Apple-only gifts that you can send to your friends. If you still haven't taken advantage of our upcoming content videos on the new Farmville YouTube channel, be sure to have a look. For the release of each major theme, you'll find previews like our Halloween Limited Edition Showcase featuring animations of our new Halloween items. You can view this and other Farmville videos at youtube.com slash farmville. As the Farmville team receives thousands of questions from players each week, I'll now be taking a moment to address a few of them. We'll start with a question from White Egg, who asks, Is there a technical issue which prohibits users from purchasing only one chicken coop? Well, the answer is yes, and if you had more than one nursery barn recently, you might even know why. The game looks for just one chicken coop, and if we do anything to the building, having more than one coop can cause all kinds of problems in Farmville, including the possibility of lost chickens, which is something we don't want to have happen to people. In a related question, Mihogan asks, When are you going to allow us to purchase more than one chicken coop or expand the ones we have? My chicken coop is expanded to 60 and is full, and I probably have another 60 outside my coop. I'd love to be able to harvest more eggs by having another chicken coop. Well, me, Hogan, for reasons I'd answer to White DA, we can't have more than one chicken coop on the farm, but we do know that people love having animals in buildings and harvesting them. So the Farmville team is looking into ways we can let you have bigger chicken coops, because we know you'd like it. Keep listening to future podcasts, because if we can do it, we're going to tell you first here. And now to our next question from SheCop1992. I'd like to know when an expansion will be available. I'm running out of room on my farm, and my storage is filling up fast. Well, SheCop1992, we're constantly looking for new ways of farm building to give you more space and storage, but we need to make sure it's going to be in a way that works great for everyone. If we offer more space in the future, we would like it to be in a way that does not slow performance for players. Snow Queen 1426 asks, Will we have sweet potatoes and diver-collared greens? That's a great question, and the Farmville team is constantly looking at options for new crops that fit our new themes as well as player input. Please continue to make your suggestions for new crops as you never know when we're going to pick yours. And now for our last question from Holt, who asks, Will the Country Fair event be returned to Farmville this fall? I know many, many farmers love to see this event return, and many of us were disappointed that it was not part of the seven days of summer. Well, Holt, all I'm going to say for the answer to this is stay tuned, because I think we have good news for you in the future. If you have a question you'd like answered by the Farmville team in a weekly podcast, please make sure to visit the official Farmville forums for more information on how to participate. 
So let's take a look at the future of Farmville. In our last installment, Voltai announced tree orchards will be coming soon. There's been a lot of speculation about what they are, how they'll look, and what you'll get out of them. Let's go into some of the details. The orchards will be a constructed building. You'll be able to place up to 20 trees in each orchard, and you can have more than one. The appearance of each orchard will depend on the trees you put in it. You'll be able to harvest orchards once a day for coins, and you'll also have the chance to receive a mystery seed. These can grow into any type of tree in your orchard, and must be planted on the farm and watered before they mature into fully grown, upgraded versions of their parents' trees. Enhanced trees will be a part of the tree mastery system. You'll be able to progress as you harvest orchards or individual trees, and there will be three levels of mastery with rewards for each level of mastery completion. Level 3 mastery will also grant a unique mastery sign. And now let's a completely new feature, gifted limited edition seeds. That's right, you're going to be able to gift your neighbors packets of 20 seeds. Once accepted, the seeds will be found in the marketplace window. You can plant these seeds on your farm like a normal crop, and yes, you will be able to master them. And they'll also be available for farm cash if you don't want a gift. Look for the Black Rose crop, coming soon for Halloween, as the first giftable limited edition seed crop to learn more about how they'll work. That's all for this week, farmers. Thanks for listening. The next podcast will be hosted on November 5th and maybe the return of Flexalicious, in addition to all the latest news and information for Farmville. Happy farming! Thank you.